channel if you love anything lifestyle self-improvement beauty and fashion make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing y'all i have actually slept on this hair and everything and for the most part it is still late like i do need to add some moisture to this part i am very impressed with my slick back being that this is my second time being a loose natural and ponytails are what caused me to even get locks in the first place because i didn't know what i was doing but i only have four minutes left on this sd card so this is not going to be a long intro this is going to be voiceover style so i hope y'all don't mind if you're new here and this is your first video on my channel that you're seeing or your first time seeing my face i do want to briefly go down memory lane i actually just got rid of my 11 year almost 11 year old locks I got rid of them right before it would have been 11 years so technically 10 years but the reason that I even ended up locking my hair was because I did damage it with uh, chemicals relaxers and bleach and then once I went natural I had no clue what to do I was stressed out and tired of spending an hour combing and brushing in the mornings trying to do a ponytail and just not liking the way that it was turning out so it's very ironic that here I am a, a loose natural again and I actually figured out what works for me. So I am starting with freshly washed hair and what I'm doing is since it's going to be a low bun I will be doing three sections starting with the back section and as I'm going I am detangling. Now this is most definitely an arm workout so yeah if you one of those people that love arm day just uh... <laughs> make sure you do you a slick back bun and that's a, a pretty good arm workout if you ask me and if you're interested in the products that i'm using i will have the details in the description box with a link so that you could directly go and get some for yourself i do love all of the products that i use mainly the got to be glue for my edges and to just overall make sure that the ponytail is slick once i have it all together at the end now i'm not a licensed hairstylist or cosmetologist however you want to put it but this is just what works for me Woo, child detangling the ends is definitely the struggle for me because my hair is very very coily so them ends be trying to wrap up real quick detangling is the most kind of annoying part for me and i have thought about just trying to brush it all up but you will not get your hair as slick as you need it to without this detangling portion so now i'm going in with my eco now that i have that back section and that first ponytail locked in pretty much and detangled so i'm gonna just go ahead and apply that and i personally need a hard brush i can't do too much with those soft bristles i want it laid i want it flat i want it as thin not thin but to my scalp as possible so i need me a good hard brush moving on to this middle section i'm pretty much going to do the same thing as that back section and i'm gonna be detangling making it free of all knots and coils and then preparing it to add my product and brush it down into that first ponytail and also comment y'all's favorite go-to style is a loose natural if you are a loose natural girly i think for now whenever i don't have braids or protective styles i will definitely be alternating in between the slick back and the wash and go because even though i love this and it did last pretty well for days after a few days because i probably had the ponytail so tight my head was a little sore also i don't really care if the part is perfect the whole point is just to have sections so that all of these sections can mesh together into one ponytail so the parts do not really matter it's just so that i can get control of a specific section detangle it and then add it into the ponytail so yeah, this is pretty repetitive. Again, now that we have this section pretty under control and we add it into the ponytail, we just have the front section left. And I make sure that I'm generous with the gel. So 
So I'm smoothing and brushing until it's to my liking. And after I have that added to the first ponytail, now we can move on to the last one. As y'all could probably see in my face, I am definitely a little tired. My arms are screaming, but got to see it through my boy. all right we're down to the last scrunchie and now that i feel like i'm okay with how the ponytail looks we can prepare to get ready for the edges and also i just play with it to see what type of bun i want to do now i will say i am very particular about the scrunchies i do not use rubber bands because they definitely always pull your hair out i use these very thick ones and they do not have any type of um the little metal piece that some of the scrunchies usually have on it they don't have that or anything and they're stretchy and durable as well for thick hair like mine so i highly recommend them and again i'll have them linked down below i did pull out some pieces and i just did like a curl a defined curl with my aunt jackie's love it real bad i use that when i do my full head wash and go so i didn't want the bun to look like per se too too perfect and i kind of wanted to go for like an effortless natural looking bun so like i said i pulled some of the curls out and just defined the curl before i moved on to the edges now i also have noticed that y'all seem to like my hair videos the most however i'm asking y'all to also show love to my other videos um i do want to branch out more into vlogging but of course we can still add the hair content in that as well but let me know what y'all would want to see what you're interested in seeing from me and i would definitely try my best to get that to y'all now your girl was just recently put on so got to be glued i do not know if this is the best thing to be putting on your edges however my edges curled up with most of the edge controls that i ever tried this holds me down for i mean i was in the rain with this i was sweating with this like my hair lasted so good with this so i don't know if i would be recommending that y'all use it i don't really know too much about it like i said i tried it and i love it that's all i can say all i'm doing is telling y'all what i prefer for my hair because i did speak with the hairstylist and when i told her that i was using it she rolled her eyes and she recommended another product so I don't know but this is what i like and this is what i'm going to continue using and i haven't had any issues with it the baby hairs is my favorite part like i don't know it's just like watching a masterpiece come together the key with this is not to be trying to do large swoops all in one swoop if that makes sense you want to take your time start from the base brush it out make sure it's flat and then start sweeping it in the direction that you want your swoop 
then you're going to move to the middle part of the hair that you are swooping and then kind of gradually move to the end of each swoop if that makes sense take your time exper experiment with how you want your edges to lay how you want the swirls or the swoops to go how much hair you want out because at a certain point it does start giving adult hairs and not baby hairs but if you like adult hairs then do you also with this got to be glue it kind of reminds me of a spritz but in a gel form so once you have your edges how you want it and you have also used this if you decide to to go over top of the whole you know the outer side of the ponytail just know it's stuck you pretty much have to add product and or water to get your hair to move once you have molded it and it has set with this product so don't think that after you set it you'll be able to just kind of brush it or go over with your finger and you'll be able to move it because that's that's not happening so i do just want to make that disclaimer as well if you choose to use this product the little details do matter so after i have set my edges and my little sideburns i then take that small edge brush and i also go over the print the whole premises of the ponytail to make sure that i have as much as those as much of those flyaways laid down as possible so that's pretty much it y'all you do your sections and you detangle you do ponytail for ponytail until you have all of the hair secured and then i moved on after i did my bun to my edges and once i have my edges how i like i then lay my silk scarf down um for at least 10 minutes honestly longer than that though if i have time to spare and then when you're ready to go outside boom you just take your scarf off and you're ready to go i like that none of these products that i used on my hair had a white cast or turned white on me the only thing is if you like i said if you move your edges or like pry them up from how they're molded at that point the got to be will start flaking and turning white but um, I only experienced that after like day two of having the ponytail and really being rough and trying to move my edges. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Thank you for watching, especially if you watch all the way into the end. Again, if lifestyle, beauty, fashion, self-improvement, all things self-care is your team, make sure you are subscribed. Comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions with products, etc. Love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video.